What's up, guys? What's good? It's another boring weeknight. Um, well, I guess weeknights I'm always happy boring, but it's not the weekend. That's what kind of matters, right? You guys should help me pick or uh, find something to watch on the TV here. Ah, put my feet up, find something on the Hulus. You guys should hit me up in the comment section. What are you watching on Hulu lately? Um, is there anything good? Are you uh, obsessed with a show, maybe a series? So everything's going great with setting up all the fish aquariums here in the house, but there's one plant that got the best of me, man. Um, I got a new plant sponsor, by the way, so I have tons and tons of aquarium plants. There's lots of videos to come. But there's one plant that I can't grow, and it's killing me. Um, let me know in the comments section, do you have a plant that just got the best of you? Um, let's talk about this plant that got the best of me. All right, so I guess I'll get up off the couch, but dang, this is hard to get up and just away from. Look at this zen. I absolutely love it. So the aquarium plant that I can't keep alive with any success in the house is known as aquarium frog bit. It's a floating plant, which makes it even more embarrassing. So, you know, because floating plants are usually super easy and I have like 10 different species or types in the house here. You know, water lettuce, dwarf water lettuce, duckweed, giant duckweed, salvini. And I wanted to add frog bit to the list, but I can't keep it alive in any of my tanks. So if you have any secrets, please, in the comment section. You know, I've talked about this before, I think, but I'm doing a video here kind of showcasing, like, I hate this aquarium plant because I've tried everything. And you might ask yourself, what have you tried? So I started the frog bit in this tank. This is a 5,000 Kelvin, which is the lighting spectrum. And this is an A socket bulb, just a generic like bulb that you screw into like one of your household assemblies. The water lettuce loves it, duckweed loves it. It's super bright. I can like, um, I have a dimmer on there so you can kind of lower it and raise it. But it, it didn't like this. Obviously it's dying, it's kind of like decaying in there. And that's very normal, I guess, when plants die and they don't like something. So obviously something is up with the water or the light. So I started changing, I started sprinkling the frog bit, what I had left across all different types of tanks in the house, you know? I have cheap Chinese lights that are 6,500K. I have um, just uh, PetSmart cheap lights with blue, you know, the original owner of the frog bit swore by these cheap PetSmart lights that have just like the couple blue lights in there and they're super cheap and it's just super simple. That's what he swore by and he dosed with liquid fertilizer. I tried all of that and I just can't get it. I can keep every plant alive except that. By the way, the 10 gallon rack is looking amazing. Um, uh, there's a lot of footage here or a lot of plants. There's a lot of cool footage and care guides coming. I have a new plant sponsor that um, uh, there's a lot of plant species here that we're gonna do guides on. So it's coming together really cool. Um, but yeah, frog bit guys, I sprinkle it in all different types of lights. I probably have like 15 different brands of lights in the house right now, and I just could not keep it alive. So um, like every loser does, he's just gonna give up and complain about it. Look at this beautiful guy. Look at him, magnificent. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. I really like um, just the way this tank is looking. Pretty cool. That's water wisteria in there. Or maybe what's water sprite. I don't know, but it probably shouldn't have been put in a 10 gallon tank. But yeah, these tanks are looking really cool. Check out that plant there. Um, a lot of cool videos coming soon talking about different care guide species on these plants. So I'm really excited. Um, also setting up some uh, Setting up tanks differently in here. We got some breeding projects to come. Um, what else is there? I grabbed some Chinese food for dinner, so don't judge me. Um, got some new tanks over here. I moved some tanks over here. Uh, shout out to Bird Dog Whiskey. Uh, it's chocolate whiskey. Uh, I know it's kind of soccer mom, but that stuff is delicious. It's my first time trying it. But yeah, guys, uh, frog bit. I don't know, I just cannot, for the life of me, keep it alive so hit up the comment section let me know if you've had any luck keeping this stuff alive i just i can't keep it alive and it's bothering me i started working on the back of the entertainment center um this i, I decided that 
this rack here is going to hold two 55 gallon tanks and then i'm going to have two 20s there and then i don't know over here uh things are quickly getting crowded because you know it's that's what always happens you think you have like all the room in the world but things just get crowded pretty quickly so i was going to put two 20s over in that corner but i don't know if it's you're going to be able to access them easy enough so but yeah things are going good what else we got going on I've been working downstairs. There's going to be a video coming on that soon. Um, the little podcast room here is looking cool, I guess. This tank is kind of lackluster. Not really sure if I dig it anymore. It's just an easy water lettuce setup, which is like millions of guppies and a cool piece of driftwood. But yeah, the, uh, the rack over here is looking great. Um, what I did was I just threw shop lights in there. You guys saw the tutorial making the panels. Um... Honestly, what I've been doing, guys, is publishing a lot of, like, uh, I don't want to call them stupid, but just kind of, like, generic educational guide videos. Because what's happening here with the house is we're growing the amount of tanks. You know, I'm starting to set up the downstairs, but um, the bills are starting to get a little crazy. You know, like, the electric bill is probably between four and $500 a month already, and... I need, I'm pumping out content to kind of like help feed the machine here because um, I honestly can't afford, you know, with just like a day job to be paying the electric bill that's $500 a month. So I'm pumping out videos on my other channels to kind of like gain some ad revenue and try to like push this beast along of a business. So um, I don't know if you guys have seen in here yet, but there's also another room in here. So... This is kind of like a cool porch I've been working on. By the way, that's the old Shea carpet that was like everywhere. So a lot of people comment on the wood floors. That was Shea carpet everywhere. But yeah, here's the room. It's kind of like a cool porch. Not sure what I'm going to do in here yet. But um, I can't decide if I want to do like fish in here or like maybe like a cool plant setup. It's a lot of windows. So if I were to like heat this, I'd almost have to like just shut off the windows and insulate over it. Maybe like a, a beta room, breeding room. I don't know, man. It's just, uh, it's kind of tough figuring out like where to put tanks in a house sometimes. Or maybe I don't, uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put tanks in there now, but maybe work downstairs or work downstairs mainly right now. I'll show you guys the pond quick, give you some updates. We got some kind of a, a cool, some cool stuff going on with the pond. Uh, we kind of built like a, a pothos floating deal. Um, my girlfriend did that. So we're going to, we're kind of trial and testing that. There's probably going to be a video on that if that works. But yeah, things are going pretty well here. We got tanks. Let's hit this light. We got tanks coming in down here. Um, lots of 40 gallon breeders. We got a wall full of tanks over there. We are starting to work down here. We just got to build a wall here and then build a wall here as well. But yeah, the fish are doing well in the pond. I've been raising the water level, so it's probably like 460-ish gallons. I got a bunch of, uh, some more cichlids in here. There's a flower horn in here. There's some chocolate cichlids, or waru cichlids. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's kind of boring. This is kind of just like, my housing tank for like for like fish that people can't take care of anymore and that's kind of like what a lot of people reach out to me for and i'm hoping to get a lot more fish in here because it's just it's just not enough fish yet i mean there is but there isn't you know you can always have more someone reached out to me and was just like hey can i drop off 20 african cichlids and i was like Ugh, i don't know man i don't know that sounds pretty aggressive to me the reason I have the floaters is because they love hiding it underneath them. And the uh, we're going to be doing some like DIY stuff with the pothos, which is pretty cool. So I just, I can't keep floating plants alive in here because someone's eating them. So we're going to have to do like the old floater trick here. So, well guys, thanks for checking out my video tonight. And let me know in the comments section, do you know how to keep aquarium frog bit alive? And you know the secrets because I need them. Please, or else I'm going to give up on this plant and then, like, forever be biased and just be pissed off and hate it. And I don't want that. I want to conquer it. Tell me how.